This home boasts nearly 17,000 square feet with six bedroom suites, nine bathrooms. A home of this size is oftentimes reserved for close family and friends. But today we are grateful that the homeowners have invited us in to do a special feature tour. There are many great ideas and there'll be surprises around every corner. This home is encased with glass everywhere. We've got a huge window feature wall. Also on the front side of the home, the entry, we are pouring in a ton of light. This is a distinctive architectural style that we see in many of our homes, incorporating the large hand-hewn timbers, a mixture of drywall, stone, and even take a look at the elements that are brought in with the sill stone here and the windows being brought all the way down. That way the view is not obstructed. Oftentimes mountain homes like the ones that we design are meant to utilize the natural scenery as a part of the home's own decor. This home maintains a sense of warmth, which is rare in this size of home. The materials are meant to be tactfully felt from the graining in the wood with the hewn finish to the texture in the stone. This home is centered around entertaining and having family and friends around. This home transforms as the day moves from dusk to dawn, as the fireplaces become lit and all the lighting accents new features throughout the home. At first glance, once you get beyond the feature wall, everyone's heart is brought into the kitchen, which is the soul of the home. This is an impressive kitchen with a 16 and a half foot long island. This is perfect for entertaining. Everyone can gather up with the bar stools. We've got matching refrigerators on each side, a 48 inch Wolf gas cooktop. And all of these cabinets, these are frameless cabinets. A very modern aesthetic. Also frameless cabinets give you more access inside the drawer and the doors. We've got seating on the L shape of this island and the seating continues on to this open screen porch area. This is pretty special. We can close off these doors and have it sealed where we still have our view outside. But as you see right now, they are completely opened. We can open these doors over here and pull the screen all the way across. Just imagine the great airflow throughout the home and how spacious this must feel. This is perfect for hosting and entertaining. Right above me, we've got a brick pattern barrel vault. That is beautiful. Now the roundness, the curvature of that vault is mimicked over here with the hearth. There's a round hearth down here and take a look at this fireplace chase. This is special with such a large chase, having an inset with an arch top adds a lot more depth and dimension. This fireplace is a wood burning unit. There's a mixture of gas and wood burning units throughout the home. Now this is a very special lounge space. Not only can we get a lot of great airflow from over there as well, but that airflow can go up into the upper bedrooms with windows up there as well. And take a look at the turret that we are within. A lot of terrific natural light in here. This home is accented with beautiful wall sconces throughout it on all the stone pillars and take a look at the glass partitions. We see that in a lot of the common spaces. It allows your eye to flow through and makes the space feel larger. This is an open concept home. You'll see that there are many huge bearing posts and big timbers spanning this entire area that allows this whole space to open up. We've got our quad post system over here and you can see that flanking each side of this great foyer area. And this is an awesome laundry room. We are inside another turret right now. We've got perfectly round cabinets and wall finishes in here. It all comes together for a very specialized and accented room. In a laundry room like this, you will not run out of a place to fold clothes. There's also a lot of storage in here and take a look at this tile. This is a beautiful hexagonal tile with different patterns in it. It's also got a cool tone, which is perfect for a laundry room like this. This tile is a statement piece, which is perfect when you've got more muted wall finishes. Over here, we've got a dog washing station, a huge pantry, but let's head over to this side of the home. There's still so much more to see. Inside here, we've got continued storage for all the pantry shelving, a great game board area, a ton of light pouring in, and look at all this bench seating. Great for when you have all the grandkids around and you're hosting a lot. Now let's take a look at the primary suite. There's a lot to see over here. We've got a continuation of these beams spanning this entire area 
and all of a sudden the touches get a bit softer in here as we enter the primary suite. You should see what is beyond these doors. This is special. Immediately drawing your eye in is a freestanding tub, a corner window which overlooks into another room, high vaulted ceilings with timber trusses in there. Each side has a his and her vanity with a walk-in shower, a powder room area, the mixture of timbers and drywall, lighter finishes with these dark tones brings it together for a perfect feel. Now you should see what's in the master suite. This is a huge bedroom with a large accent wall, fabric lined, offering a very soft feel. Blackout blinds, all controlled electronically, whether through your phone or through dials on the wall. Just across the way, we've got a huge walk-in closet with plenty of storage. Now making our way back out to the foyer entryway area, it's perfectly natural to have a powder room over on this side and the staircase heading upstairs and downstairs right here. Now this is the perfect style for this kind of home. The metal brings an industrial feel. The oak with a driftwood finish gives more of the essence of a modern feel. These open timber treads really allow all that light to pour through. And then we've got a closed floor system heading downstairs. We'll check that out soon. But first, there is a lot to see up here. Now take a look at the wall sconces on the wall. We even see it at the top of this intermediate landing. And it's amazing how much more light just continues to come in. We've got a huge beam. And as you saw, that goes all the way through to the great room feature wall. It's neat to be able to see just the different dynamic elements as we get up here. You've got to see these timbers. This is absolutely incredible up here. It's amazing to be able to see the view, all this natural light pouring in. It feels spacious and cozy at the same time. Just taking in all these beautiful light fixtures as well. And you've got to see what's over here on the terrace. It is peaceful out here. Like many of our outdoor areas, we've sunken this deck down. That way it doesn't obstruct the view when looking out and that's why there's this beautiful glass railing system. I'm standing atop of teak wood slat flooring, which is great for reduced maintenance. Above me are two large timber trusses, just like what you see in the great room area that all carries through for a great continuation of that theme. And even take a look at these specialty windows. These are called corner windows, which don't obstruct your view. All of these windows are super energy efficient and nearly anything can be done. Now let's head back inside. Once you're up here in the loft, you really get a sense for how huge these timbers are. These are massive. And then above me, we've got rafters spanning this area, which provides support for our catwalk. We'll check that out soon. You'll notice a continuing trend of double posts throughout this home. And you even see that on the railing system as well that mimics that design aesthetic. This end of the home has three guest suites, which is why it's great that there is a dedicated laundry area. We have a vestibule entering each of these suites, which offers a little bit of privacy from this common space. The two rooms on the back of the home, which face the incredible view of the water, have a walkout balcony. Take a look at these patio doors. These are huge. And what's great is we also have a dedicated screen. So if you just want that airflow on a crisp fall day, you can easily bring the breeze in. I could easily see enjoying a cup of coffee while you're just getting your day started. We also have an ensuite bathroom. It's very similar to what we see in the other guest suite. Each of these rooms have a special overlook into the Four Seasons room, which itself is enclosed within a turret. Now, speaking of turrets, you got to see the third suite on this end of the home. Facing the front end of the home, we are now within the turret. This is awesome. Not only do we have a beautiful chandelier above us, but the volume of this space, there's a lot of great light. The lights reflecting off the top of that ceiling, offering a lot of great soft light in this bedroom area. Now, speaking of light, it is convenient to have electronic blinds. So not only do we have a remote, so you can close these or open them whenever you wish, but you can also set it up on a schedule. Make it open for you in the morning time and close in the evening. This room has so many more features like the other guest suites. It has an ensuite attached, each of these having their own special tile shower area. Now let's continue on. We have a kitchenette over here, which just continues the theme of why this loft space is perfect for an extended family to stay in. 
open shelving makes a lot of sense when you have guests visiting. Got plenty of countertop surface to lay everything out with a refrigerator, a sink, and a microwave. There's a utility room beyond that door. We can see the other side of the turret as we walk through. Now you've got to see what is on the other side of the loft. I think a lot of you might find this to be your favorite part. This home has six bedrooms. Now this bedroom alone sleeps eight people. So this house is incredible for hosting. There are nine bathrooms. There's an ensuite bathroom here as well with a great walk-in closet. And you're probably wondering how did Luke get up there? Well, that's because we've got a catwalk connecting us from this side of the house to the other. This is absolutely incredible. I've never seen anything like this before. You really get a sense for the volume of this space. The mass of hand-hewn timbers, the beautiful glass railing. We've got views out in both direction. This is incredible. On this side, we've got a great reading nook area with a day bed. We are inside of a flat dormer, and these are stacked dormers. You'll see that on the exterior of the home. There's a lot to see out there, but before we do, you must see the lower level. It has its own distinctive style. Let's head there right now. It is incredible down here. We've got a great mixture of modern and industrial. This is the perfect space for hosting and entertaining. Take a look at this bar. It's a much more traditional style of cabinetry compared to the rest of the home. So this has your full overlay with a walnut finish, a rich dark wood. All of the liquor is well lit and we've all got all that great light coming in from the outdoor fire pit area. You'll need to see that later. This column is massive, which gives you a great sense of the space. We've got plenty of room down here. Like I said, it's great for hosting and it's bound to get rowdy from time to time, which is great to have a barn door at the bottom of the stair. We got plenty of room for the shuffleboard table. There's a vault back here. This looks incredible embedded into this massive stone wall, even with the stone encasing it. <laughs> that is just cool. Really draws your eye. I think the simple finish of the copper penny makes a great accent on that wall. Behind me here, we've got a gas fireplace, a huge screen. Whether you're watching the big game or a movie, this is perfect. There is a great spot wherever you sit. There is also extra seating on the perimeter as well. Now this is perfect. Just imagine you've got the pizza sitting out. You're still finishing your drink. You're not missing anything sitting over here. And when you're done, you can easily get yourself cozy in one of these big chairs. These are also great for conversation, being that they swivel back and forth. Now, speaking of conversation, we highlighted this in the Timberlake Home Tour, the tour of an amazing home where you can sit on the edge of the sofa. So that's great if you're still having some casual conversation. The lighting throughout this estate is incredible. I mean, just above me, we've got industrial style lighting. It is simple, but it really brings a big impact. And the wall sconces on each of those concrete piers. Even below me, this is a polished concrete, and it really brings a good heavy industrial vibe. Now take a look at this room. It is closed off by two big double barn doors. This is one heck of a play area. Not only is it great that the kids have all this natural light, but we also have plenty of storage for all their toys so it can stay tidy and everything is kept away in its place. We're seeing that a lot of our homes are smart enabled homes, and this is perfect with a tech center. This is the hub of the home with all the brains. There are three different bays with all of these servers in here. Everything is speaking to this. You'll even see tablets mounted on the wall, which is great for all the guests to be able to use. It allows you to control lighting, the light shades, even the gas fireplaces. Now behind me, this is a beautiful room. Here we are inside of the turret that's above us, that Four Seasons room. This ensuite has frameless cabinets. There's a tile shower over here with a powder room. And then just beyond this, there is an outdoor shower area. How great is that? And when you're coming in from the water, you can get rinsed off before you head over to your bedroom suite. Now behind me is the garage. Let me show you my favorite part. These doors are incredible. It's amazing to have something so tall and wide and being able to use this on the front of the home that doesn't detract from the rest of the home's beauty. This sunken garage is a great idea because we have extra tall ceilings. Not only are they vaulted, which is great if you ever wanted a basketball hoop in here, 
but this gives you plenty of clearance for the RV. There are even garage doors on the back side of the garage, which makes it easy for them to be able to pull all the way through. Coming from the house, the kitchen and dining room is right down the hall. And this is perfect for outdoor dining. We've got a gas grill with a dedicated fuel line. There is even a range hood above for great ventilation, although we've got all this open air out here. And take a look above us, a great continuation of the theme with the same barrel vault that we were seeing in the indoor dining room area. Now let's head on downstairs as we continue our way around the property. A common characteristic that we're seeing on the exterior is the incorporation of arches like what we saw inside the home. There's a massive amount of stone. This is rugged. These colors are tying in to all the hardscaping that we have throughout here. There's a wavy edge cedar accenting the stone. We continue up with that incredible feature wall and all the glazing of that glass just reflects the sky from outside. It looks gorgeous. This is picturesque with a turret flanking each side of that feature wall. In everyday architecture, it'd be common just to make this a flat wall, but we care about the details. And when you take a look at this, bringing this out, creating more of a pilaster effect, adds a lot more depth and dimension to the wall. Speaking of dimension, it's pretty cool to see the lighting in this space. We're connecting over into the bar area. We've got these arches above us, and this is a great cigar lounge or just for hanging out. We've got a gas fire pit over here. So this is fueled by propane, easy to light right on demand. On our homes, you don't want to miss any of the details. A great accent feature is utilizing sill stones. We see it accented below that window, as well as the transition from stone to timber and wood. There are different dynamics when you have a home this tall. Many homes utilize recess lighting in the soffits, but that would be so high up, it'd be hard to change a light bulb. These homeowners have utilized wall sconces on the exterior of their walls, which are easy to access with a ladder. The finishes on the front of the home are equally as impressive with more great ideas. Let's check it out. What a grand entrance. We've got the turret with its accenting pilaster. There's even a timber sticking out for extra detail. Now that is purely aesthetic, non-structural, although there are many structural elements throughout this home. I think also what adds the dramatic effect is the stacked flat dormers. Seeing those, really offer great contrast with the eyebrow roofs that we see over the garage, as well as the top of the turret. A prominent wall finish that we have on the front of the home is a vertical board and batten. That offers great contrast with that horizontal wavy edge cedar. The addition of this dimension takes what is a very tall wall and breaks up the space, offering a lot of great interest. You see this great big band board that spans that whole wall. We see that inside the home too. So we're carrying many of the same elements on the exterior to the interior, giving a sense of structure and architectural integrity. Your roof finish material is often a supporting role to the overall color scheme of the home. But in this case, it makes a distinctive statement. Take a look at the pattern and the extra thick shingles. That offers great depth, dimension, and shadows. Undoubtedly, the primary focus of this view is the covered porch area with those double doors, eight and a half feet wide, the vestibule above with the timber rafters supporting it. This is dreamy. This is a distinctive tour with many great details. Comment below, let us know what your favorites are.